Hello and welcome back to our channel where we discuss latest defense-related news. Today we are going to cover details about Khan fighter jet. Khan, formerly known as TFX, is a highly anticipated fifth-generation fighter jet. In development by Turkish Aerospace Industries with BAE Systems as a subcontractor. It's designed to be a stealthy, twin-engine, all-weather air superiority fighter aiming to replace the Turkish Air Force's F-16s and potentially compete in the international market. Let's have a quick look at its specifications. Powering the Khan are two General Electric F-110 GE-132 engines, each generating a colossal 29,000 pounds of thrust. This translates to a top speed of Mach 1.8, or roughly 1,540 miles per hour, with internal fuel capacity allowing for a flight range exceeding 1,860 miles, the Khan can patrol vast distances. It can also soar as high as 55,000 feet, putting it above most threats. The Khan is a master of invisibility. It is supposed to have a very low radar cross-section and therefore has a stealthy profile. Its radar-absorbent skin and blended wing body design make it difficult for enemy radars to detect, giving it a tactical edge. The Khan packs a serious punch. Its internal weapons bay houses a deadly arsenal of air-to-air, air-to-ground missiles, bombs, and even a 27mm cannon. Additional hardpoints could be mounted for even more firepower and fuel tanks for extended missions. The Khan's cockpit is a pilot's dream. Advanced displays and a helmet-mounted display provide real-time battlefield information, while voice commands and gesture controls keep things smooth. A fly-by-wire flight control system ensures precise maneuvering, while triple redundant systems keep the Khan operational even if parts are damaged. The exact cost of the Khan program is classified, but estimates range from $20 billion to $30 billion. For the development and production of the first batch of aircraft, the operational cost per flight hour is also expected to be high, comparable to other fifth-generation fighters like the F-35. The Khan's journey to the skies unfolds like a thrilling story. Phase 0. Initial conditions met in 2018. Phase 1. Preliminary design activities occurred between 2018 to 2022. Phase 2. Detailed design and qualification activities from 2022 to 2029 with the aim to produce three prototypes by 2026. The Block 10 configuration, destined for the Air Force's command, is targeted for development by 2029. The Turkish Air Force had initially announced the delivery of 10 Khan Block 1. Warplanes from Phase 2 between 2030 to 2033, but Thai revised this date to 2028. Phase 3. Development and mass production activities for other Khan blocks will be carried out, as per the revised schedule by Thai in 2030. This timeline paints a picture of continuous progress, each milestone a testament to the dedication and innovation behind the Khan. From prototype to powerhouse, the journey promises to be as exciting as the aircraft itself. Challenges, technological complexity, developing a fifth-generation fighter jet is a complex and expensive undertaking. Thai faces challenges in mastering advanced technologies, such as stealth coatings, radar systems, and engine integration. Funding. The high cost of the program could lead to delays or even cancellation if funding is not secured. Geopolitical landscape. The geopolitical situation in the region and the relationship between Turkey and its allies could impact the program's progress and export potential. There are some delays with first test flight which was supposed to happen in December 2023. Engineers are probably finalizing the design before large-scale production begins. This involves scrutinizing every aspect of the aircraft to ensure it meets all operational and safety requirements. Production of the first Block Zero aircraft. This stage might be in its early stages. With the focus on building the initial test aircraft to validate the production process and refine manufacturing techniques. Delivery to Turkish Air Force. The initial batch of 20 Block 1 Khan could be delivered to the Turkish Air Force by 2028, with subsequent deliveries following the mentioned timeline. 
Pakistan Air Force has shown keen interest in the project. Pakistan officially joined the program somewhere in 2023. It was reported that around 200 Pakistani engineers have joined the project team. Pakistan on the other hand is prepping up for acquisition of J-31, another fifth-generation fighter. There are reasons for this decision as Chinese fighter is in the final stages of its development. And Pakistan will be first air force in South Asia to deploy fifth-generation fighter ahead of India. It will also allow Turkey to develop on its own engine, as American engine may lead to deal being dead. Similar to T-129 attack helicopter which was blocked by Americans as it used American engines. Overall, Khan is an ambitious project with the potential to be a game-changer for the Turkish Air Force. However, it faces significant challenges, and its ultimate success will depend on overcoming these hurdles and navigating the complex geopolitical landscape. Hope all the information is clear. Let us know if you have any comments, suggestions. If you have not subscribed to our channel please do so. We will come back with more defense-related news.